Hey gang, welcome to Sweet Willie's Kitchen. I'm Sweet Willie over here. <laughs> we got Grace. What's good? There you go. She's my sous chef today. She had asked me to do something on a video that she had watched regarding curry. Curry, Japanese curry. No, no. Sushi rice. A bow tie chicken cutlet. That's it. Where did you find that video? Where did you uh, find I found it on Macaroon's channel. Macaroon with a with a Q. I, I thought it looked really good, and so I wanted to make it. Okay, there you go. So we did some video searching. We looked at it. We got the thing. The hardest. And yes, one. this thing is this strainer is resting on a potato. Yes, we're resting. Would it stand up by itself? There you go. What we did was uh, we'll, we'll go over it real quickly. We we're going to start off by. Rinsing, we rinsed a cup of sushi rice and we're going to get that going because that's going to take a while. So I'm going to get this cooking. So what we did was we rinsed, we rinsed the rice, it's in the water, it's going to simmer for about 20 minutes. And now we got to do things with the vegetables. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use one onion, that's a potato, one potato, and one carrot. And one carrot. Remember guys, this isn't salad. This is curry. Cook. We're going to cook here. A little, so, a little goes a long way in curry land. <laughs> so we're going to chop these up. We'll do the prep work. We'll chop these up. I'll show you what they look like as far as the size is concerned. And then we're going to cook them up. And then... There's a nice carrot. All the wonderful carrots. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add something. It's called... Kokumaru. Kakumaru. Kind of reminds me of a Kamaru Nayagi from Daganrapa. Bada boom. I, I went to an Asian market and I had to find this. So, so we're going to use that and then we're going to make a, the chicken cutlet bow tie. We'll it doesn't it. have to be a bow tie. I know it doesn't have to, but we can. And then we're going to shape the rice into what? An alpaca? It Are you going to do that? No, it's just going to be normal curry. Oh, it's so no, you it's just want to no, make it. You're not I gonna just want to make curry. Oh, okay. There you go. Beautiful. Makes it a lot easier. So we got the rice and the curry. We're not going to make it shaped like an alpaca or anything. We're just going to eat it. Yep. Cool. All right. So when we come back, we'll show you the size of everything, how everything's cut. Okay, gang, we are back with the help of my number one sous chef, El Graso. El Gracie. G-Dog. 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 <laughs> so this is the size of what everything looks like, all right? So we got a, not a, a, a dice, but a, you know, a, a chop. A chop, or, yeah, a fine chop. Uh, the pieces of the carrot. The carrots. If you took three quarters, about you know, you take three quarters, about the size. If you stack three quarters, one on top of another, that's how thick that would be. And the uh, chunk of potatoes. Chunk of potatoes about the size of a dice, you know, a piece of dice. All right, so we got our pan, and we're going to use. I'm gonna coat. Take this off. Grace is gonna do that because it's burn it. That's right. So, fire hazard. That's right. So we're just enough to cover the pan with the olive oil, and we're gonna soften up the onions first. So you the first you, you put the onions in. Can I put the onions in? Grace, you can put the onions in. The beautiful thing about chefery is everybody has their own method. Grace is gonna have her method. And I have the correct one. And she's got her method. And I've got mine. Go ahead. And Jeff. Remember, guys, we always go medium hot, medium high, all right? You know that? So we don't burn. All we want to do is bring up the heat of the onions. I'm going to saute these for oh, about two, three minutes. Nobody cried while cutting the onions? No, uh, nobody cried while cutting the onions. Cried while we're all down That's right. Grace, can you smell the onions? It smells like onions! All right, onions. It smells onions. like Christmas Day when you make food. Oh. Like Christmas Day. Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. Christmas Eve at our house, we have a big spread of food. Yeah, well, the adults have food, meanwhile, the kids go downstairs and have an emotionally intense role play involving skeletons and OCs. Oh, that's always a good thing, right? And also people almost dying. It's a fun Christmas at our house. Mm -hmm. But nobody dies. Nobody, yeah, no one actually dies. Only nobody. the brass dolls get sent to the naughty corner. Gamzy oh. gets sent to the naughty corner where he belongs because he wasn't invited to the party. Grace, you want to put the other stuff in? Okay. Just put them all in. 
All put, at once. Put everything in at once. Everything in at once. Everything in at once. So, see, that's why we have the one plate, but the other one. And put some salt. Move it around a little bit. Okay. Get them evenly coated in the in the stuff that you put in the thing. There you go. We're using technical terms here, kids. Put the salt. In. That's the pepper, and that's the salt. Put a little more. Yeah. Let's go. Put a little more. Go do that one more time. I want it super salty though. So. All right. One more, because we don't know how we don't know how salty that roux is that we're gonna add. The cocoa mop. There we go. And then you put the pepper in. Yep. Four, four cranks. Good job. Mm. You stir it around. Yep. Always stir your stuff, kiddos. <laughs> Always stir your things. Cooking 101. Stir go. things. Okay. This one is cut entirely. There we go. Okay. Need a little assistance. They're conjoined twins. All right. Let me get a let me get a flip on this here. Whoosh! Oh! amazing. We have our moments, Grace. We have our moments. I just want to get this to they start to brown. Okay. The potatoes start to brown. So we'll give it about two more minutes. I'm going to put my timer on for two minutes. I'll stir it around. Stir it around. I'll sit here and stir it You're for two start? minutes. Great. I have, I have a life. I just <laughs> sit in here stirring. Almost shoved the spatula directly into the fire. I shouldn't be allowed near fire. Oh, you're fine. Potatoes are gentle creatures. Aren't they? They are. Now, Actually, nothing I'm going to add three cups of water. Cups of water. There's the three cups of water. You put it in the thing. Give it a stir. A good stir in. And we'll see you guys. In a... We'll see that in 15 minutes. So we're gonna let that simmer for 15 minutes on medium. And in the meantime, on this side over here. We're gonna make chicken cutlets. We're gonna make the chicken cutlets. Yes. Because that's what we do. I'm very hungry. Grace is hungry. It's been a while since I had dinner that like wasn't takeout from somewhere or like one thing. Yeah, so I, need, I need a good like meal. Make it sound like we don't feed you. No, I eat, it's just not very exciting things. I need something exciting in my life. All right, timer's done. Okay, so, we gotta make the, we gotta make chicken, the, the chicken cutlets. Chicken chonk chonks. And we're gonna bread up these cutlets. I'm gonna use this egg. He's special. A he's special a, egg. He's a special girl. All right. He's got freckles. I love characters with freckles. I draw all my characters with freckles. Grace, you wanna whip up those two eggs? Be very gentle. Be very gentle. Opening eggs. You don't want any shells. No. Nope. Shells are gross. Unless you're some weirdo who likes to eat the shells, which I'm not gonna judge. I don't know anyone who does. There's, there's seven billion people on the earth. Of course, there's probably someone who eats the shells. Mm. Well, maybe that's all they have to eat. You know, think about everything about that. What about the first guy who ever ate an oyster? How have how 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 hungry have you got to have been to eat an oyster? Who thought it was a good idea to milk cows? Oof. Who decided to just yank on a cow's udder and then stuff started coming out? Well, I think they, they saw the and, and then after that happened, they decided to drink it. Well, I think that what they did was they saw the little baby cows on the udder. And they said, wow, but that's food. That's food for my food. No, but like, it's not like we saw cows eating grass and we decided, hey, we should eat grass. Well, no. Is that it? The Gracie method? Alright, so here's our chicken cutlets. So I'm going to dust them with flour. Whee! What kind of flour? Oh, oh. Alright, well that's what, that's what... That's what towels are for. That's what towels are for. Wipe that up there. Don't spin too hard. Don't spin too hard, that's right. Get some flour in a bowl. 
just like when we make the made the uh, the chicken parm. Remember the chicken parm over in Sweet Willie's? Chicken parm, it tastes so good. That's right. So we're gonna dust these up with a little bit of flour. Gracie's whipped oh, it. Oh wow! Yeah. I made a mess with skinny guys, and you made a mess with the flour. Cooking is not a clean thing to do. Cooking is a contact sport. There we go. Go spin me right around, baby, right around like a record, baby, right around, right around. We, we went with that. We went over to Sushi Chef. Sushi Chef is the company that we. I just went. Uh, yeah, let me get all that stuff, and it's comes from a company in New York. I'm gonna stir the, the vegetables so, real quick. What's cool about these here, right? They, they got they come it comes in a Ziploc bag. So you can open and close it. So that's pretty very intelligent, very clever of them. Alright, we ready? Ready. Alright. So let's... first you take your, your your chonkers. You take your chonk, chonk chonk chonk. Your chicken. Don't get if you're vegan you can not do the thing with the chonkers. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And then put it in. Uh, okay. Then put it in. Shake it off a little bit. Just no, a little not bit. really. Just a little bit. No, just throw it in the panko. <laughs> and then shake it. Just like you're spinning. You remember how you make the. Uh, remember how you made your chicken wings? What's the. There you go. What's the. What's the. Alright. Looks good. A chicken wing. Chicken, chicken cutlet. That's a chicken cutlet, guys. A la Gracie. Keep going. Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I love how chicken with flour on it smells. I don't know why. It just, it just smells good. Okay. Good job. Let's straighten this area out a little bit. And we're going to make the chicken cutlets. Guys, what do you think about the uh, Grace? I think she did all right, huh? I did a pretty good job, yeah, but I didn't feel good good as all the teachers said I would. There you go, there you go. Who said we'd amount to nothing? Okay. <laughs> Who says you're not perfect? There we go. So we got the oil going, and I don't have it heated up yet. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting my hopes up. <laughs> These are booyah cubes. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna open them. There's a special way that the yes. girl opened them up. Oh, and do it in front of camera. I think we do everything in front of camera. Now we're only going to use four of them. There's four of them per. Yep. So we'll only use four. So we just... Bingo. There we go. That's good. Put it in the middle. Put it on the side so we can get two of them in there. Use a use a tool. Just use a, a tool. Use a spatula. This Sorry. isn't a spatula. These these are spongs. Spongs. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. This is a spong, guys. Put a small one on the other side. There you go. Make sure to take your spongs. Okay. Put Good. It All right. We'll let that go. All right. You break it. And you one by one. You put it. All right. Put one in each corner. You're a smart man, sweetie. We try. There you go. Yeah, mix it around. And you dissolve it. Oh, look at that. Oh, Gracie. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah, that looks good. Golden brown. The curry doesn't work yet. I'm just going to eat those. <laughs> well, did you put all of them in there? Yep. All right, cool. You just got to stir that gently. You don't want to break up the potatoes too much. So what's happening is that the water is dissolving these bouillon cubes. It's sort of like a... Sort of like a bath bomb. <laughs> the best analogy I can think of. I'm sorry. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. Looks good. How does it smell? How does it smell? It smells like uh, when I... When I was still in public school and we had a bunch of Indian food in our class, they would always be Indian food. Oh, so it's probably similar types of spices. It smells like Indian food. Okay, well, Indian food tastes real good. There's Indian curry and there's Japanese curry. It's kind of like the same, but not really. Well, curry is just nothing but a, it's a name for a spice blend. You could actually have Italian curry. So we're going to just finish up the cutlets. 
I'm going to give this another five more minutes. I'm going to put another five minutes on the timer. And when we come back, we're going to put everything together, and then Grace is going to give us a taste test. Okay, gang, we are back. We're going to put this together here. So I've got one of these wonderful panko chicken cutlets, and we're just going to slice that down. I was just going to slice this down. So some nice pieces here. I'm going to take some of that sushi rice. Wait, I got I gotta arrange this because I know how to properly arrange it. Oh. I'm a professional. Alright, so Grace is gonna arrange this here. You don't put the, the thing on the thing, you, you put it on a separate plate. What? Th that. You want this on a separate plate? Yes, that's this is not proper curry etiquette. Alright. Rip. So first you take the rice. You put the rice on one half of the plate. <laughs> okay. This. You're not gonna make it look like an alpaca, are you? No, I'm just making it look like normal. Yeah, she, she did not want to do that. You gotta kind of sort of be like a crescent moon shape ish, kind of. Oh, okay. Kind of like a yin yang of food. Oh, oh okay, I get you. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you run with this one. You want me to bring that over there to that side for you? I got it. You got it? Okay, use that. Okay, use the, use the big spoon. And then, you take the curry. You want to form that? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, all right. Good the way it is. Should I go away? You take the curry. All right. Then you put it on the other side. Okay. Now with that, is that for one person or for everybody at the table? One person. One person, that's a lot of curry for one person. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Grace is gonna taste it. Maybe you dip it into the. Maybe you dip. No. It. No. Okay. I'm gonna let you. It's your. It's your game. You're the one who wanted to try the curry. Sure. Mmm. Chicken cutlet. So came how on. you eat a curry? All right. Is you sort of mix it around in one place and then you get it on your spoon and then you just blow on it. You like it? Yep. All right, there we have it. Grace is digging on the curry. Interesting. And the chicken cutlets. I want to thank everybody for watching. Grace, what do I do? What, what do we do next? Do we Instagram and do all these and don't be a hater? No. Follow us on social media. Follow social media. Guys, it's been a lot of fun with this one. Do you want, you want to do more recipes with me? Yes. She's going to do more recipes with me. I want to thank everybody for watching. We will see you real soon. Bye-bye.